I'm Daniel from Sony. I'm standing here at the IPC 2017 booth with the Sinalt area. Here I'm having the Venice, the new Venice camera that is our full frame 6K camcorder that can adapt to various aspects ratios from full frame down to Super 35. But of course, including that, we can also do the anamorphic either 1.3 or 2.0 uh, anamorphics. We have completely redesigned the camera compared to the F5 and F55. So we made not only the panel on the right side of the camera, we also made the new system much faster and efficient than, and more intuitive than the F55 and the F5. So the camera's got a quick menu. This quick menu goes in and it gives you a very fast, quick overview of the camera settings. And by holding down the menu for three seconds, we go into our deep menu. So the camera operator on the right side can actually go in and change things on, his, uh, on this right side. The camera's got a new made built-in ND filter. So this is two wheels of ND filters that then turn individually and where you can go from 0.3 ND and up to 2.4 ND. So this is eight stops of, of, uh, of uh, eight stops of ND built inside the camera. So if you want this quick exposure change when doing outdoors or indoors uh, shooting, you can do this very quickly inside the camera. The camera, of course, has also a DOP side. So the DOP side has an LCD for himself where he has a quick overview of the camera's current settings and some of the more critical ones regarding the shot or the exposure he can change on his own side so he can actually make sure that the shot and the camera well the camera is ready for the shot uh, if he wants to change something for more specific like there might be a unique uh, setup of the of the white balance that he wants to have for this particular shot, he can ask his assistant on the other side to add an extra uh, white balance to the to the side. So it's very flexible in order to make, have a very simple overview on the DOP side, where the flexibility comes over at the uh, at the assistant side. Last year at IBC, we introduced a new R7 recorder. The R7 recorder, of course, fits the F55 and the Venice camera, giving you raw capability up to 6K, but also introducing XOCN. XOCN is a very intelligent algorithm used to process high quality raw pictures, but in a much lower uh, space on your media. So it's 30% more efficient in terms of storage but it's got the same quality as we see in our raw material. We also last year introduced a new OLED viewfinder. This viewfinder of course fits the F55, but as we can see it also fits the Venice camera, giving you OLED, uh, an OLED viewfinder, full HD, Internally, we have the uh, we have the buttons uh, externally to control some of the important functions in the viewfinder, and in the future update, we'll also on this side be able to control the menu of the camera through the viewfinder. A very very nice detail feature is the PL mount. So again, we remade the PL mount, which uh, is out of the box from on the camera, but we got six bolts on to attach this PL mount, if we remove those, there's hiding an E-mount on the camera's body. So we've got two lens mounts in one. The sensor block, again, it's a new design. The sensor block with our full frame sensor is made to have a very stable structure. So it's very rugged and it's very flexible. The only moving part inside the camera is our fan. So the fan for the cooling system of the camera. This fan has uh, been, a, been, been designed so it can actually handle lots of various environments. So we have a, if we have sand or dust, we can actually, uh, we, it might, well, if you use fan or dust, uh, no, let's give it a nuclear word. Um, on some productions, 
It might accidentally be an outside production with a lot of sand or a lot of dust. Where these particles uh, could easily go inside the camera. The camera body inside has been sealed, so none of the electronics are vulnerable for this kind of situation. But the fan itself could be damaged or could be getting so, so much dust that it will be noisy for the production. So by removing the six screws that is holding the sensor block, we can actually then get to the fan and change the fan within four minutes time and then you'll be back producing again in 6K productions.